hello YouTubers uh, just uh, out for a very quick ride between showers this evening and uh, yeah just a uh, very quick ride out I'm also testing microphones again I've put a bit of extra um, for, um, yeah like foam rubber sort of crack over um, the two microphones that I've got just to see if I can cut down the wind noise a bit more and uh, hopefully it'll be a positive test but what I've done is I've um, sort of like uh, mashed up me uh, some of me, me Senna headphones just to get the the velcro off them and also some of the um, the foam the foam that goes over them you know so hopefully this will uh, make a difference but what it does do what I can do with it because I've done that is I can um, I can take it off whenever I want you know what I mean it's not stuck on or anything but failing that what I might have to do if I can't get the wind noise down a bit although the wind noise isn't massively terrible you know what I mean and you're always going to get a little bit of wind noise it's um, it's just uh, you know try and get it down to the absolute minimum really but what I might have to do is I might have to go for um, some fur <laughs> basically you know dead cat sort of crack and I could still use the um, the velcro to attach that over the two microphones as well eh? so yes so that's um, basically why I'm out tonight more than anything else but as I say it's just to get a quick ride in before uh, well while there's a little bit of blue sky in the sky blue sky in the sky a bit weird you know what I mean a uh, bit of blue sky in the sky yeah but I can see over there there's some rain so I'm gonna turn off here and head up um, towards Brampton Because typically the motorway is at 50 mile an hour just now, which is a bit of a pain. Because obviously you want to see um, how it reacts in, you know, like 70 miles an hour, you know what I mean? Like fair enough, I'm going a little bit over the limit there, but um, yeah. But we'll head out Brampton Way just to see what the, what the score is. Yes, I'm worried about my dog at the moment. He's uh, he's a lurcher type dog, lovely dog as well. We adopted him from um, the animal refuge nearly five years ago, and right up until November, he's been fine absolutely 100 percent but um in november he was out in the garden on an evening and some twat let off a firework just behind us and since then he's had a phobia of loud noises so anyway the last couple of times we've been in gelt woods there's been people shooting and he can't stand that neither there eh, anymore and he's, he just shakes, you know what I mean? It's horrible to see, like, really is horrible to see. And he was such a confident dog as well, previously, you know. And it never bothered him at all. Not one single bit, you know what I mean? But like I say, just since that, he's, um, he's been dreadful, like, and I'm really, you know, really um, worried about him like like he hasn't got to the point where he's um, actually gonna bolt well he, he does kind of bolt but not you know like 
bolt and doesn't come back but you know when he hears it what do you call it he comes to me first which is good uh, but then he wants to get away as quickly as possible uh, it's it's so sad like it really is I think they should bloody ban fireworks you know and maybe they will now that people are starting to use them as bloody weapons against the police and stuff Uh, it's a fucking pain, like it really is. Wanker. <laughs> Typical Audi, eh? Gotta get slowed down here. And I tell you. We've put some. Uh, well, I think I've said before, but they've got um, average speed cameras through here. I know, they'll do anything to get money off you like one you've got this big hill here as well which is part of it they know how to get bloody um, what do you call it off your revenue bastards so, so, anything else? Um, I filled the bike with uh, super unleaded. Um, a lot of people on forums have been talking about it, saying that it's the way to go and stuff. So, and as it's so cheap at the moment, I thought I'd give it a try. Possibly make the bike smoother or something. I don't know. But I, don't, I don't know how we can make it smoother because it's pretty smooth anyway. Like, eh? but obviously most bikes run relatively um, lean these days. It can only help with that, like, can it? I but really worried about my dog like is uh, and I don't know whether it's psychological or whether it's physiological you know what I mean whether he's got something wrong with his ears so I think next time he's at the vet for his uh, boosters I'll, uh, I'll uh, ask if they can have a look you know what I mean just in case it is physiological rather than uh, psychological like poor little fella though honestly and he's a great dog and he's been a great dog you know since we adopted him and he was about one and a half when we adopted him and um, you know don't get us wrong he's had his obviously he's, he's been abused when he was uh, a puppy and stuff because like the first time I told him off you know he was cowering and shaking and stuff much like he does when you know you get this bloody um, you know he is a a loud noise or anything you know so ooh, nice Cannondale love Cannondales so yeah and like I say he's been brilliant he's had the odd problem as I say he's uh, he never ever liked the vet like he used to hit you know he still hates the vets like but he's getting better It has something to do with them cook it, cutting his nuts off. <laughs> you know, I've obviously been in a, a rescue. He's um, he's had all that done, neutered and stuff. Is that the right word for a male dog, neutered? I think it is, isn't it? Yeah. But uh, it's sad to see him gone this way, like. And he's, you know, great with people, he's great with um, kids, great with other dogs. Uh, he's a lovely dog, but like I say, this has really shook him up, like. And as I say, it's only been since November, since that one incident. That's the only thing I can pin it down to. And then, of course, New Year's with people setting off fireworks at New Year's these days as well. It's just uh, uh, it's such a shame, like. Yeah. 
yeah, he's a good dog. So yeah, you can see, not a great night. It might be quite dark because I've got ND16 filters on my camera at the moment. And yes, yeah, so I managed to clear out my uh, SD card onto the computer. So we've got uh, space on that as well. Mm, dear. The cloud's not looking very good, is it? Hope I don't get caught in any rain. But we're turning off back to Carlisle at uh, this roundabout that's coming up. like this bike eh? but I'm so glad I got a white one as well because apparently if you're white you're more likely to survive COVID-19 would you believe sound of this bike eh, with this blooming exhaust on, it's lovely. Yeah, she's a beauty. Still waiting for me um, decal kit from Hazelmere Motorcycles. I don't know what's happened there, like obviously something to do with COVID-19. But it's been bloody, I don't know, when did I order it? February. So it's been what, three, four months? Unbelievable, like. Of course, we're coming from France and all, which doesn't help. You, know, you can't hurry a Frenchman up. So, we're into the wind here at 60-something miles an hour. So hopefully, we're getting good results on those microphones to be hoped anyway. But yeah, got the uh, Yoshimura decal kit coming at some point. Hopefully it won't be too long now that um, mot uh, motorcycle shops can open fully. Well I say fully, obviously one in one out sort of crack and don't touch the bikes and blah de blah de blah. Very dark. But at the moment it's not raining. That's all that matters. A lot of the time I've been riding without um, pin locks in me, uh, pin lock, you know, those pin lock things there. Eh? Riding without them in my um, helmets recently and I got a couple of new ones to the day through the post and um, I put them in my helmets but I don't like them you know what I mean it's like it, uh, you know 
know, there's kind of a mistiness to them to me, for me, like, especially when I'm wearing my glasses, like. And a bit of sunshine. A bit of blue sky in the blue sky. <laughs> and walk the dog around the village he's gonna have his evening walk like but from the point of view of um, Geltwood and what have you I think we're gonna have to change where we uh, go for walks because I, I, I can't stand to see him like that when there's a you know shotgun guns off you know I just can't stand it like like these tossers that do the shooting, you know, they want to fucking grow up, like, you know what I mean? Going around shooting pheasants, and uh, like pheasants that are tame, you know what I mean? These things that fucking literally sit on the end of the gun, like. <coughs> And then there's another tosser goes around doing pest control for the people that have the pheasants and stuff. You know, shooting squirrels and fucking crows and stuff. Makes my fucking piss while that sort of crap, like. I don't know what enjoyment they get out of it. So I'll say me goodbyes. So if you've been watching once again, thanks for watching. If you've enjoyed the video, hit the like button. And if you're the sort of person that would go around shooting fucking squirrels, hit the dislike button. So as I say, thanks for watching and until next time, take care and uh, ride safely everybody. <laughs>